By using LumaFusion's new multicam feature, you can sync up to six video clips together, essentially turning your mobile device into a vision mixer where you can pick and choose the best angles of an action for your video. Recording interviews and podcasts online means we can create content with people the other side of the world if we like. Multicam can help us edit these conversations together in a quick and easy way, meaning you can get your content out to your audience as soon as possible. Here's how you do it. So in this example here, I've set up an interview with Kevin Allen, AKA the content creator and music producer known as Chordmaster. I'm in England and he's in America. So we're talking from our homes. And in this case, using the communications platform Riverside. In order to edit this conversation, I need two videos from this chat one of me talking and one of Kevin talking. Different communications platforms will record your content differently. So make sure you practice with this ahead of that all important interview. But what you need to have captured is a full frame video of yourself and a full frame video of your interviewee. Depending on the platform you're using, you might be able to capture both videos from your computer, or you might have to also ask your guests to press record. It's always good practice to go through a little checklist before you start your online interview, making sure you're happy with the lighting of both cameras and of course the framing of your shots. With all video recording, each person talking should use a microphone as that will ensure both ends of the conversation are well captured, especially with online calls, because when we're at home or in the office, it's common for there to be a bit of background noise. Also, after you press record, a simple clap from you on camera will help you to sync the footage when it comes to edit it together using Multicam. So be sure to do this before you kick off. Once you've finished your interview, you need to save the recordings to your mobile device. You can airdrop them to your camera roll, for example, or you could import them from cloud storage. Once you've done that, you're ready to sync them together. In the LumaFusion project, open a new Multicam container and bring the two clips down into drop zones one and two. From here, you can sync the clips by tapping the sync method icon at the bottom of the screen and selecting the appropriate method. Unless you know which option will work best with your clips, choosing automatic here will try to use the best of audio and time code syncing when possible. So I'm going to choose that. It's always wise to have another check of the sync. Make sure the clips are aligned really well. Note that if you're not entirely happy with the sync at this point, you can change to manual mode and make frame by frame adjustments if needed. When you're happy, head over to the switcher to do the fun part, switching the clips as you watch your interview back. Note that by default, as you tap your clips, you will switch between both video and audio at the same time. Now you can change this to switch between only audio or only video using these icons on the left. Toggle video switching off by tapping this icon once. For in this mode, the video will not switch when different angles are selected, only the audio. Alternatively, you can tap the audio switching button to toggle the audio switching off. So audio won't switch when different angles are selected. You might want these modes when you are doing online conversations. So just have an experiment with these and see which works best for the video you're making. You can use these toggles while your content is playing for quick edits. So make sure you experiment with these. As you switch, be sure to capture expressions on screen and make a conscious effort to cut between the cameras in a way that keeps the conversation engaging for your audience. Back on the timeline, get super creative and add music, titles and B-roll to your edit before you export. You can really get creative with editing your video calls if you set your mind to it. So if you don't have anyone to necessarily interview now, why not try practicing with your friends or family? That way you'll be really accustomed to using Multicam as and when you need it. Good luck and I'll see you next time for more content from the Luma Touch Academy.